to share with you. My store doesn't normally get many of these in so it was nice to find and they are the bonus buys. So this uh, in a normal pack you'd get two but you get three and it's just these little white buckets. So they have the little handles on them but I thought these would be cute. Uh, you could use it for like a little gift pail. Uh, you can make centerpieces. You can uh, decorate the outside by using stickers or window clings. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these. And then I also found these. Again, uh, you normally get two, but with the bonus buy, you get three. And they had uh, both of these in white and black. That's all they had in my store. So I grabbed the white. So I thought these would be good too. You could use these for centerpieces. A lot of different things you can do with both of these. And then I also picked up these I thought were really cute. You get four. They're small, um, but you know, I, all my containers that I use in my craft room are pink. But I thought this would be good to hold up little stuff. When I open a package of something and I have leftover, this would be uh, something good to hold those extras in. Now, when I went into my store, they were already starting to put out some of their fall stuff. Uh, so I wanted to share with you, I did pick up some florals. When you find some really nice florals in the Dollar Tree and you see them, you want to grab them right away because they may not get them in again, especially if it's something you haven't seen before. So the first thing I wanted to share with you are these roses. And they're in fall colors. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And these are the ones that have the really nice heads. So we have this kind of lighter color orange that has that darker bit in the center. The leaves on these are a little bit lighter. And then they also had this really gorgeous dark orange. Now these are the roses that I like. I really love the heads on these. They look very realistic. Absolutely gorgeous. So I did get two in the light and two in the dark. And then they also have these roses. Now these are the type of roses that they used to carry. I picked these up because I really like the color. They're kind of a light yellow and it has just a tinge of orange. But these heads on these roses are much smaller. They have less petals and they look like they're a little bit more clothed. But I really liked the color so I picked up two stems of these as well. And then they also got in more of their sunflowers. So I really like to work with the sunflowers when I do florals for fall. So I did go ahead and pick up four stems. And they do have several different colors to choose from. I just really like the traditional, that bright yellow with a little orange and then the dark center. That really is my favorite. Another item for fall that I found, and I have not seen this in my stores in the past. I don't know if it's brand new this year or if it just sells out so fast <laughs> that I've just never seen it before. But they are the Sunflower Placemats. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They have the bright yellow in the back. And these are the material, so they are two-ply. But these are absolutely gorgeous. I don't ever remember seeing these. And they have these out where they have the sunflower plates. Uh, a lot of my stores are starting to get those in for fall. So along with that, uh, they have the placemats. And I saw pot holders and the mittens. So I did go ahead and grab six of these. And what I do is I use four to make a runner and then I use two to make a pillow. So this was a fabulous find. If you like these and you want to pick them up from the Dollar Tree, I would suggest you go down right away. Uh, I am in California. We're usually one of the last ones to get this type of stuff. So 
So um, you want to call your store, see if they have it in it. If they do, go get it because <laughs> these are going to go fast. Another item that I found that I was really excited about, uh, it's nothing that big, but I know my cats will love it. It's a new cat toy. It's called Cat Fast Track. This is what it looks like. So it has this little ball that they can bat around. Now it doesn't roll around because it has this little paper thing in it. Let's see if I can take that out. Oh yeah, that came out easy. Okay. But see, now they can bat the little ball around and it rolls around. So I have uh, something similar to this that's much larger. And one of my cats just absolutely loves it, but he doesn't really let anybody else play with it. So I thought this will probably come in handy and the other cats could play with this one. So I thought that was a great find for a dollar. <laughs> Another item that I found over in the hardware section that I was kind of surprised to find in the Dollar Tree is Goo Gone. Now I've used this for years. I love this stuff. It removes any kind of sticky adhesive. Um, I've even had it remove um, permanent marker off of walls or things. So I really like this stuff. It does have kind of a strong fragrance. So when you do use it, you want to uh, be in a well ventilated area. But uh, this is pretty good. It's two fluid ounces for a dollar and this will go a long way because uh, you only need a little bit to remove all that nasty stuff. So great find for the Dollar Tree. Another item that I was really excited to find, and I've hauled this in the past, but I was happy to find more, are the ball mason jars. Now I did go ahead and I did pick up two more of the large ones. Now I use these in my craft room to store crafts. because a lot of things that we buy from the Dollar Tree for crafting comes in little packages and once you open it then you have a bunch left over so for certain things that I buy a lot of I just open everything and put them in these and then they're already in a container and I can grab what I need so I did pick up two more of the large and then this trip I was really excited because this is the first time I found these smaller ones and they are so cute and they have the raised ball and then it says uh, perfect mason on the bottom, which I thought was really cute. I love that it's raised. So if you wanted to use these for crafting and paint and then kind of do a little bit of sandpaper over those wordings, because they're raised, would really stand out. Now these jars, it says right on the lids that these lids are not for canning. So I wouldn't be buying these for canning, but to store things in, or, you know, maybe to pour your own candle in here, that would be great. But I thought they were so cute, so I grabbed two of the small ones. Another nice find over in the kitchen section, which I've seen a lot of other people haul, and I was really excited to find it. It says, must have coffee. So I finally found one that was in good shape. I did find one at another but like half of the word coffee wasn't even dark. So <laughs> you couldn't really read it. So I passed on that one, but I finally found one that was in good shape, no chips, everything looks right. But in the morning, it's like, don't talk to me. I must have coffee before I am social. So I thought this was a great find. Another item that I've been looking for and that I was really happy to run across is this it's by Sassy and Chic and they are called eyebrow stencils. I thought that was really interesting. I've never used anything like this before. It says it has four pieces in it. So I did pick up two. Uh, if any of you out there have tried these, let me know how well they work. I'm kind of excited to give it a try. Um, my eyebrows are pretty much non-existent uh, because I'm a natural blonde. They're very light. So I do have to go in and pencil them in. So I thought it might be interesting to kind of try some different types of arches and see what looks best on me, but I thought that was a nice find for the Dollar Tree. Another item that I found that uh, I really love are some new candles, and these are the old Williamsburg, and these are Lemon Cello. Now I really love the color 
yellow, and I love lemons. Anything lemon, love it. The smell on these are fabulous. They have a really nice, fresh, almost like a lemon cream scent to it. Absolutely fabulous. So I was really excited that I did find two of them. And uh, I love these. When I find a scent that I like, I do grab several of them. They burn really well. They last a long time. I like the fact that unscrew it, burn them, let them cool, put the top back on and put them away, and then pull them back out when you need them again. And they stay nice and clean because they have the tops. So that was another nice find for the Dollar Tree. Now over in the stationery section, I found several interesting things. Um, every once in a while, Dollar Tree gets in these small paper pads, and I noticed that they got in a new one. They're small. I'd say, I don't know, let's see. This is, it says you get six sheets of each design. So there are six different designs. But I would say that's probably, I don't know, seven or eight inches by seven or eight inches. But these are cute. The paper's not really thick, but I really like all the different patterns. And they're nice if you do a lot of uh, card or paper crafting. These are always nice when you don't need a really large piece. And I thought that was a good find for the Dollar Tree. I also found this really cute little notepad. They had uh, several to choose from, but I just picked this, uh, this one up. And it is 60 sheets of paper. And it's the little fox. Now they did have the other animals. They had uh, the deer and they had a bear and a couple other ones that I don't remember, but I thought that was so cute. It was just so adorable. I use a lot of notebooks. I keep them around. I usually always have one in my purse because when I'm shopping and I'm out or when I come up with ideas, I always need something near me so I could grab it and jot it down because at that moment I have that inspiration. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I will remember what I did you know, two hours later when I'm home and able to write that down, it's like, now what was that idea? <laughs> so it's nice if I always have something to do that with me. On that same note, I went ahead and picked up another one of these and I purchased one of these a while ago and I love it. Um, I use it all the time and I really like this one. It's so pretty. And this is the one on the front. It says, follow your dreams. They had several to choose from. Uh, this one was the most adult. The others had like um, an ice cream or a popsicle or something like that on them. But I thought this is really pretty. Now these are plain. Uh, there's no lines in these. And let's see, you get 60 sheets. I love this. This is where I jot down all of my ideas. I actually can draw out a picture of it and then I list the materials and things that I need to complete the project. So, and it's the perfect size to carry with me. So I grabbed another one of those. And then I found some really cute stickers. And these I've never seen in uh, the Dollar Tree before. And I thought they were really cool. And let's see, you get 21 pieces. They say they're puffy, but they're not real puffy. But I thought they were really cute. And they're all these different types of little houses. A couple little kitties in there, which I just noticed. <laughs> But I really love the houses. So um, the first time I've seen these, so I did go ahead and grab two sheets of that. This sticker set that I get from uh, the Dollar Tree, I absolutely love because you get several uh, different types all that go together. And for example, this one you get 68 pieces and this is all for birthdays. So you get the first sheet on the front has all the birthdays. And then you get more sayings. And then you get an alphabet. So this is great when you like to create your own cards because you have everything that you need for a birthday card right there. Now in that same type of grouping, they had this one. It says hugs and kisses, kiss me, love. Really love these books. So there's your first one. And then you get all kinds of little sayings. And then you get a cute alphabet. So for a dollar, that's a great buy. And then this one, now this one is new this year. Um, they changed it from last year. And this one is summer. So you get all those really cute, and I, I love the little van. And then sayings. So if you're making cards, or if you like to do planners or anything like that, these are great. So for the summer one, I did pick up two. 
So that was a really nice find. Now this next item was brand new as well as the first time I've seen it. Uh, this was, oh, I found these over in the poster section. And this is Jolie's Boutique. And it is alphabet. And they are 1.5 inches and you get two sheets. And they look like zebras. Which the high school here where I live is called the Zebras. That is their mascot. So I thought that was rather fitting. If I ever wanted to do anything that represented uh, our town's local mascot. So I did go ahead and pick up two of those. And again, these are Jolie's Boutique. So these are not by Jot. These are a name brand. Another new item that I found over in the stationery section, which I've never seen in the Dollar Tree before, are customizable planners. This is an agenda. And you get 20 sheets. I thought that was really cool. So this comes uh, with the rings. They had some that didn't have the rings, it just had the boulders. But I really thought that was pretty. I love all the bright flowers and it does say 2020. And then along with that, I also found this, which are these little discs that uh, you can use to decorate these. But I had a different idea for these, but I did go ahead and grab one pack of those. Now, unfortunately, they had these, but I didn't see any of the inserts, so I only bought one. I'm hoping that uh, through my travels, I'll be able to find the inserts and things that go into that. But that's the first time I've seen anything like that from the Dollar Tree. So if they start carrying that on a regular basis, that'll be great. Now, I was able to find over in, I believe these were over in the stationery in the store that I found them in. And uh, this is a little bit more of that, like, closeout stuff that they had purchased. And this is Project Life. And this is, let's see, you get 40. It's a little too small for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you get 40 themed cards, and these are animals. So uh, I thought it was really cool all the different ones that you get in there. Oops. I thought that was really cool. Um, again, you can use these as they were intended, but I'm thinking they would be really good to use in crafts. So on top of that, I also found by Project Life, and this is a Beggy Higgins, and these are four by four cards, and you get 12, and they're decorative. Oh, the back will show you all of them. I thought that was really cool. So I thought that was a good, good find. And then this, I couldn't believe I found this. It is Albums Made Easy. And you get 100 double-sided journaling cards. And they are We Are Memory Keepers. So this is definitely not a, a Jot brand. And it doesn't say on there how much that it normally is. But this is what it looks like. And it says on the back you would select your album. And then you select your journaling cards, which is this package. And then you would insert the cards into your photo album. Okay. So on the back, it shows you there. But wow, and it says, this is game day. But I thought, wow, that is so cool. I mean, I really like the cards. I thought that was really cool, especially this one. Delicious popcorn, fresh and crisp. You know, that's not only game day. You can use that for maybe a day that you went out uh, to the movies, something that was special. So they have a lot of different things to choose from. Let's see. There's all the different cards you get inside. But wow, what a great find at the Dollar Tree. So keep your eyes peeled. Every store I go into seems to have something a little different. So you never know what you're going to find. Uh, I did find one good book on this trip, and it is Healing Ways 
an interactive health source book. So I thought this was really cool. And honestly, I think I might have already bought this. If I did, then this one will be a gift. <laughs> because I was looking at this and I'm like, did I already buy that one? Or did I just see someone else haul it? But anyway, I picked it up. I thought it was a good deal. It normally goes for $14.99. And uh, let's see. It says, learn how to use conventional and alternative medicine to reap maximum health benefits. And yes, reading that, I now realize I have bought this in the past. But I thought this was really good. It covers a lot of really interesting things. And as we get older, you know, I want to take better care of myself, but I don't want to be on 50 million pills to do that. I'd rather try to do it through diet and through eating healthier and making better choices. So um, I like books like that. Okay, so I also found this cute uh, little game. It was over in the toy section, and it is a checkers game, and it's rather large. So you get this large um, checker board that you would lay out, and then you get all your red and black pieces. Now, I actually purchased this for a craft project, and I'm hoping that it will work. So <laughs> if it does work, you'll see it in the future. If not, then you'll probably won't see it again. Now, uh, I did pick up a couple summer items. It seems like they did restock and add uh, some more summer items to this uh, store that I went. So it was nice to find a few things. Uh, I picked up this little sign. I thought it was cute. It says, let's be mermaids. I thought that was absolutely adorable. So I grabbed just one of those. And then uh, I really like these. I love the pattern. Uh, I picked this up. It's a drying dish mat. Very pretty, I love the pattern. And then I did grab two of the hand towels that match. Now upstairs here in the laundry room, I have a coffee station for myself because sometimes I get up a lot earlier than my father does. So I need a place in my bathroom where I wash all my mugs. So this is for my bathroom so that uh, when I do all my mugs, I have clean towels and you know a drying mat and everything specifically for doing those. So that was really nice to find. Um, I like the pattern. Normally, by the time I come around and see that, they're all gone. So it was nice to find them. Now, I did find something else new in the Crafter Square section. Um, I did go to several stores hoping to find a lot more new stuff, and it was really strange. I went to the larger ones that have the larger Crafter Square, and they barely had anything new. But yet, the little tiny Dollar Tree in my town had all kinds of brand new Crafter Square stuff that I've never seen in any of the stores. So I thought that was kind of odd that they went to the smaller stores first rather than the bigger stores. But anyway, I found this. It's a metal word, and it's one, but it's much larger, and it says home. So I thought that was really cool. Let me open it up. It's kind of hard to see it inside the plastic. But this is much larger than um, the ones that you normally get. And they already come with little holes to hang them. If you can see that little hole there, and there's one on the other side. So this one says home. And then they had happy and family. Those were the only three that I saw. Um, I, at the time, I just grabbed this one. I kind of have an idea for this one. So that's why I just grabbed that one. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to share with you, I actually grabbed from the 99 cent store, but because it's only two items, I didn't want to do a separate video for that, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, these are Hello Summer, and they are paper cutouts. It's nothing big, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And this is very coastal or sea, and you get all of those in here, brightly colored. I thought, wow, you know, I could do a lot with these um, and Mod Podge them onto other items and put them into crafts. So that's why I purchased them. And then this one is Sea Life. Again, it's just paper cutouts. And it just says Hello Summer. Absolutely love those. So I, just, I had to grab one of each. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you enjoyed today's Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel.
Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day and I will catch you next time.